Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a great holiday weekend. Um, thanks for joining me for my holiday head start series and this is number seven of the series. So today we're going to create 10 cards, my goodness, but we're going to use this little kit. It's from Photoplay. It's the Christmas Memories Collection by Becca Fleck Moore and it's called the Holiday Card Kit. It has everything you need, well almost everything you need to create eight cards. So two of them I used with the leftovers of the kit but it has step-by-step -step instructions on how to create your eight cards um, along with the panels and the stickers um, for embellishing. You do need to bring in like some glitter drops and some twine. Of course your scissors and paper trim trimmer and your adhesives. But everything you need is here. You get two sheets, um, six in total. Two of them are the same and they're double-sided. But, you know, the great thing about this is um, for the eight cards on the very front, you only use one sheet, one 12 by 12 sheet um, of each pattern. So you have three 12 by 12 sheets left over. So you can make many more or duplicates if you wanted. So uh, here is your instruction sheet and it does tell you everything that you need, um, like your paper trimmer and all that. But we're going to jump in with card number one. This is called the Nutcracker card. And so this is your panel. Um, this is one of the sheets. You get three, again, um, sheet 12 by 12 sheets in total. So what I did was went ahead and trimmed down um, all of my panels. Sometimes you can't go straight and down, straight up and down. So you want to make sure that you don't um, hit the other panel for your next card. <laughs> so it says to glue this directly to your card base. For this one we're making a landscape style card and this panel is going to cover the entire card front. Now um, when I trimmed down my paper my um, panels weren't exactly the same size as my card front and all of these are A2 in size. So if there's a little white showing from my card base I just use my paper trimmer to trim it off. Okay, next it says to take this little white strip and put it over the seam. So just using my tape runner I'll adhere this right over the seam and then we're going to grab our stickers. We're gonna, there's three nutcrackers in the sticker set and um, we're going to take all of those and we're going to pop them up. Now it does say to have baby powder on hand and that's because you want to remove the tackiness of the stickers and add uh, dimensional adhesive. So instead of using baby powder I'm just going to use my anti-static powder tool and go over the tackiness but what I like to do is add my adhesive first. Um, it's just less of an area to go over and so I'm just removing that tackiness and then I'll remove the release paper off of my foam squares and we're going to line three in a row. This one's going to go all the way to the left and then I'll do the, the right one and then I'll put my center one in. That way everything's nice and centered. Now it says to add the little star stickers and there's four of them in total. So I'm going to add foam tape behind here and add our stars right on top. Now I'm going to bring in some stars from my stash. These are from um, Tim Holtz and the stars that are on the stickers are gold and I wanted to fancy them up a bit. So I, I found one that was the same size and I'm going to put a star on each one of my little circles here just to add a little bit of sparkle and then also to add a little bit of um, extra specialness to the card. <laughs> and I'll just adhere those stars um, using my glue. There's no adhesive on the back of these. We'll add a dot of glue and then place all of our stars right on top. Now since my stars are silver and this card is more on a gold tone, I thought we'd bring in some silver um, glitter drops and I'm going to add some silver accent to um, all of my little um, nutcrackers here. I'm going to add it to their hats and to the gifts that they're holding and to their little boots. And that finishes off card one with a few extra little bells and whistles. Now card number two is called the Mary card and it said to use this sticker. But I'm going to go a little one step beyond and create a shaker with it. So using a piece of acetate I'm going to cover the back. I'm just going to trim a small piece down and then any excess overhanging I'm going to trim off with my scissors. And then um, we'll add foam tape behind the entire back. Now um, I, 
I'm going to make a snow shaker. So if it, I'm not going to add sequins, I'm going to add glitter. So one layer for me was just fine. I just made sure that the, the corners were tightly tucked in with that foam tape. Now the glitter that I'm using is um, like a chunky glitter that I picked up at Walmart. I'm just going to place this directly on my second layer panel here. Spread it out kind of with my jewel tool. And then I can remove the release paper and add my shaker window right over the top of the glitter. Just making sure this window here is um, centered. I, the green cardstock I had already adhered to my card base, so it's covering the entire card base. Before we add our frame, um, it said to add some white twine. So I'm wrapping it around three times. I'm not going to tie a bow just yet. I'm going to secure this over my glitter first. And then this way, everything's nice and tidy. I can tie my bow off to the left a little bit. Kind of shake it up. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to my card base. Okay, there's a 25 sticker in the sticker sheet. And it says to tuck it underneath your twine. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then there is... Um, a little bell in the sticker sheet. Now, um, it actually has a hole where you could loop the thread through, but I thought since it's a sticker it, and it's not on the thickest side, I'm just gonna punch it out. I'm gonna use my scissors and cut a little snip in it. And then this way I can just add it through the thread um, and it you can't even tell that there's a little snip in there. Um, I am gonna add a foam square behind it to pop it up and then, um, Again, we'll just tuck it in between the twine and you can't even tell. <laughs> okay, last to do, we're going to add our Mary. So um, we're just going to punch out the pieces that are in, on the inside of the le letters that we don't need. Um, and it says to stick this directly on your window, but um, I like a little extra dimension. So I'm going to add foam tape behind it to pop it up. And theirs was um, perfectly horizontal. I kind of tilted mine a little bit. I'm adding my journey glaze over my bell. This is like a glossy accents. And then that finishes off that card. Pretty easy. Oh no, it doesn't finish it off. I thought we'd do a little faux stitching. I like that look. And I think it goes with the pattern papers. Okay, for card number three, the Merry Christmas card, we're going to adhere our panel here to the lower section of our card base. Now these two pieces I trimmed down with my paper trimmer and um, it doesn't say to add foam tape behind it but I like the dimension so I went ahead and did that so it's going to create kind of like a little valley. I'm going to add the bottom piece and then the top piece. Lovely. And then we're going to go ahead and grab our poinsettia sticker. Now there's controversy on how to say this. Some people call it poinsettia or um, I grew up um, in a very Italian household and we just called it a poinsettia. Um, so I guess it's, it's potato, potato, <laughs> tomato, tomato, <laughs> but I call it a poinsettia. But I added my Merry Christmas and then I'm going to fill in my little holly berries with some Nuvo um, crystal drops. Now these are autumn red. And I added them to the berries and I wanted to bring in a little gold. So I'm bringing in some glitter drops that are in the honey gold color. I'm going to add gold to the center of my flowers here. And also on that darker um, seam line um, on the green and the red cardstock. Just adding a strip of gold. We're going to finish it off with a few little dots of gold here and there. And then that finishes off card number three. Pretty easy to do, but I love love doing this. To me, this is so relaxing. This is a great way to spend a holiday weekend. <laughs> okay, for my next card, card number four, this is called Happy Holidays. I'm going to go ahead and adhere my panel directly to my card base. It's going to cover the entire thing. And you can see I have that little white area, so I'm bringing in my paper trimmer and we're going to trim that off. Now, with the gold sheet of pattern paper, um, I decided to doctor it up with an embossing folder. This is called the Elegant Swirls Embossing Folder by Sizzix. It just adds a little extra something to a plain background. I went ahead and now it said use your scissors to trim around the circle, but I found if you use a circle die, um, you can get away with it going a little bit 
bigger, um, or the smaller actually, when you die cut that out. So I cut, cut out my circle and it was perfect. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use some red embroidery floss and thread it through my tag. Just loop it through and stick my tag down to my circle. And I threaded this little tag also. I'm gonna add some foam tape behind here. And then we're gonna stick layer that right on top. And I did add foam tape behind behind it to give it one added layer of dimension. For this tag, the white one, we're gonna tie a bow with it. And then for the green one, we're just gonna chop off the tail there. Now this one, you were gonna add Santa and the Christmas tree in the sticker sheet. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our sentiment. We're just gonna put a piece of foam tape off to the left, or the right rather. This way everything's nice and even. And this one says, um, Merry Holiday. We're gonna add a little sparkle to our Christmas tree with our honey gold glitter drops and a little bit to Santa. And then that finishes off that card. I need to add a piece of foam tape behind here. My sticker was sticking to the tag, so we needed to pop it up a little bit more. <laughs> but so cute and super easy. Oh, there's my faux stitching again. Almost done. <laughs> there, and that finishes off that card. Okay, card number five is the Merry Little Christmas card. Now, I'm going to adhere my gold card stock to my card base. Now, this originally this panel will cover your entire card front. I altered it, so I trimmed off a quarter inch off the left and the bottom of my panel. This way I have a little bit of the white card base peeking. I like that on my cards, and so I altered it. Um, your panel will be the full size. Now, um, it says to add this sticker strip that with a scalloped edge, and I added it, but I altered that too by adding a piece of gold cardstock to it, just so there's a little sparkle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop it up since I like to mention, and place that on the very top of my panel. Okay, once we have this done, I'm going to go ahead and add my little Christmas bulb. Now this one doesn't the whole for the Christmas bulb doesn't pop out. So I'm gonna take my crocodile, punch a hole in it, and I'm gonna add an eyelet. I have one white one left, so I thought I'm gonna go ahead and use that. <laughs> we'll secure that, and then I, since I have that gold trim right above my scalloped edge there, I'm gonna bring in some gold um, twine. Uh, I'm just gonna loop it through not going to tie a bow just yet. I'm going to go ahead and add my holly leaves with the berries. Um, I did pop it up with foam tape. And then I'm going to tie my bow. I like tying the bow after it's secured. It just makes it easier. <laughs> I'll trim the tails of my, um, my Christmas bulb there. And then this is where we're going to go ahead and add our sentiment stickers. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. I popped every one of those up too, just for a little bit of dimension. Now, just to give an added sparkle, I have tons of gems in my stash, so I'm gonna bring in four of them and go over the berries that are on my sticker, just to add a little extra something. And then that finishes off card number five. For card number six, we're gonna go ahead and adhere our background panel to our card base. And then there's a second layer. We're gonna go ahead and adhere that as well. And then it says to use the sticker that's in the sticker sheet with the scalloped edge. We're going to grab that. And I'm going to bring in one of my scalloped dies and cut a white scalloped um, little banner here. And I'm also going to take a little uh, ribbon die and cut out three ribbons. Um, the ribbon die was from an MFT blueprint sketch. That's the one with the balloons. So check your balloon dies. I think they might have a, a ribbon like this, but it's pretty thin. Um, and then I did cut out some very, very thin strips of white cardstock to be the strings of my ornaments. Okay, I went ahead and add my banners right behind my scalloped edge here. And then I added my white strings to my each of my Christmas bulb stickers. I did pop all of them up with foam tape and then I went ahead and added my little ribbon. I had to do a little bit of adjusting so they were different levels and then um, I just made sure I tucked those end strings underneath my scalloped edge there. And since I added the white 
um, I thought we'd top it off with this, the stripe pattern paper here. This is actually the leftover that you cut off that tells you um, which sheet it is. Each of your sheets, you have three sheets in total, say sheet one, sheet two, or sheet three. So um, that's just the leftover strip. I finished it off by adding um, some faux stitching and then I did add some um, glitter drops to my Christmas bulb for a little bit of sparkle. And that finishes off that card. No sentiment for that one. Now, here's where I did a little mix up. Um, I didn't want to confuse you guys, but this is technically card number eight on the instruction sheet for the holiday card kit. Um, technically it's card seven in my video, but it's number eight on the instruction sheet. So I went ahead and layered my panels together and put them on my card base. This is going to be a landscape style card. And then I went in my, my circle die. I had a, um, a two inch circle die, but I didn't have a two and a half inch circle die as the instructions requested. It was like um, one and five eighths. And so um, I have a little bit of a white border, but that didn't bother me because the joy here has a white border too. But I adhered those, adding foam tape behind them. I even ad um, popped up my joy with foam tape. Went ahead and add to the world in my holly berry. And of course, we got to sparkle it up with some gems. I'm going to take my white gel pen and go around the red circle doing a little faux stitching. And I didn't think the faux stitching would show up on the scallop circle there, the gold one. So I'm going to bring in some Nouveau glitter drops or not glitter drops, um, crystal drops and simply white and just add a few little white dots. If you don't have these, you could use white pearls. I think that would be pretty too. But this is a pretty easy card um, to follow the instructions with. So that finishes off that card. So here's my final card for today. And again, this is number seven on the instruction sheet. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and follow the directions by adding my panel directly to my card base, which I didn't get perfectly on there. So I'm going to adjust it. Okay, next. I'm going to, I did pop this up with foam tape. You don't have to, you could directly adhere that, but I like the dimension it kind of adds. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add my presents and I offset them a little bit, but I end up fixing that. I'm also going to um, use the stickers for right above my sentiment panel and then right below it. And it says to add the little red snowflakes. And I went ahead and added those. Here's where I adjusted my presents. Okay, I thought about adding the leftover present um, and changed my mind. We're going to add a little sparkle by using our Nouveau Honey Gold Glitter Drops to our presents. And then um, that basically finishes that card. Um, now for card number 9 and 10 is what I use with the leftover sheets. And again, there's three full 12 by 12 leftover sheets from the card kit. And so um, I'm going to attach this stripe paper to my panel here, the, which I cut out. And then this is going to go on my card base. And again, we only get eight card bases um, in the card kit. So I'm bringing in two of my own. For this, I cut out and I thought I'd make a cute little tag, both of these actually. So I'm going to use my crocodile and punch a hole in both of these and add an eyelet. Um, I don't have any more white, so I'm going to use a gray. We'll just secure those. And then I did cut out two of the circles. One of them has a star. Um, I used a die that was slightly larger, so I have a white border around it. And I tried to do the same thing to the snowflake. You can see my border's a little bit off, but I'm thinking I can get away with it if I put my tags right on top. Now to thread these two tags together, I used some white twine and I did thread some silver bells to them, three of them. I'm gonna go ahead and add my circles here. I'm going to put some foam tape behind my little tags and we're going to do a little adjusting with that red snowflake circle and add our little tags. Once they're secure, we'll go ahead and tie a bow. Lovely. And then I'm going to bring in some sequins. I'm going to use my Jelly Bean um, adhesive back sequins. These are so nice because you just peel and stick. That's it. These are the silver ones. So we're going to add a few here and there, 
for a little extra sparkle. And I thought the sequins, the silver ones went really good with the silver bells on the tags. But that completes card number nine. And then for my final card today, made with the leftovers, I'm using some more of the circle elements that were was in the pattern paper. I used a circle die to cut them out. Um, I created a panel um, that was about one inch smaller than my card base. It's the full length, but it's just um, one inch off from the left and right. I added some thin strips of gold on the edges, so it's a little bit of gold peeking out. And then I'm going to use my tape runner, add some in the middle of my panel, right in between the foam tape we just added. I'm going to wrap some gold twine around three times, secure it to the back. And then this is going to go directly in the center of my card base. Just going to make sure it opens the right way. <laughs> Okay, now for my circles, I'm going to trim off a little bit from the snowflake because it's going to overhang. And then adding a, a foam square behind here, this is going to go on the bottom. And then we're going to do the exact same thing to our red circle. Trim off a little bit, add a foam square and put that in the very top. And then for the middle one, we're going to put over the twine or the gold string and then um, add the ho 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 to it. Now, since it's a wreath and has holly berries, we're going to make those a little bit more dimensional with my autumn red crystal drops. And then since the top one was a little plain, there's two of these little stickers left over. Um, I'm going to add this little holly berry clusters on this directly on the sticker. We're going to trim off the excess here. And then I'm going to add the Merry Christmas over the ho ho ho. That was a little banner sticker that was left over. And then I'm going to add some dimensional holly berries to the berries on the very top circle and also some gold to both the wreath and the snowflake and the um, stickers we added to the top circle for a little added sparkle and bring out that gold from the left and the right. But that completes that card, card number 10, using the leftovers. And the guys, there was tons still left over. If you wanted to double up on these cards, you could. Well. Minus the stickers. You don't have an extra set of stickers, but you do have the pattern papers. But here's a look at all 10 cards that I made today with the Photo Play Holiday Card Kit. It's pretty inexpensive, and if you, um, it averages, I would say, about maybe $1.50 a card that you would, you'd make. Um, depends on how many cards you make, actually. So it's a pretty inexpensive kit, and I'll link it down below in case you guys want to check it out. Very relaxing kit. I love pre-made kits because... Um, all the designing is done for you. But I want to thank you so much for joining me. I wish you a fantastic day. I wish you a fantastic weekend. Thanks so much for stopping by. We will see you again real soon, guys. Happy Labor Day. Bye-bye. <laughs>